Hello guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to disable administrator account and if your account is already disabled, then how to enable the administrator account in Windows. This can be very useful if you're working in a network domain, troubleshooting or need access to advanced system features or maybe just taking care of some admin tasks on your PC, then you need administrator enable account. But here's the thing, it's usually hidden or disabled by default. Don't worry, because I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step and teach you how to enable the account. So, let's jump right into it. First, let's open command line, go to start menu, and in search bar type CMD, and when it shows up, right click on it and select run as administrator. This is really important. Make sure you're running it as admin, otherwise you can't run enable or disable accounts. If you want to know user accounts currently set up on your Windows computer, then you can view all the user's accounts using this command. Type net user and press enter. This will display a list of all user accounts on your computer, including any standard users, administrators, guest accounts or other accounts. Now type net user administrator and press enter. First, let's see some details about the administrator account. Look for the line that says account active. If it says yes, that means the account is enabled. If it says no, then your administrator account is disabled. Let's enable the administrator account. Enabling the administrator account is very simple. Type net user administrator, then backslash active colon yes. This command will enable your administrator account. After successfully running the command, you will see message the command completed successfully. You can now log into it and start using it for whatever you need. You can check and confirm that administrator account is enabled or not. Type net user administrator and press enter. Look at the account active line. It should now say yes. Before you go all in with the administrator account, let me give you a quick suggestion. Administrator account has a lot of power, so be careful. It can change pretty much anything on your computer, and that includes accidentally messing things up if you're not paying attention. Use it only when you need it. Don't make it your everyday account. For normal stuff, stick with your regular user account. All right, now you know how to enable administrator account. Now let's disable administrator account. Once you're finished with whatever task you needed the administrator account for, it's a good idea to disable it again. Type the same command, net user administrator backslash active colon, then type no and press enter. Last time we use yes in the end, so this time just we type no. This is very easy way to enable and disable administrator account using this simple command. Now let's confirm that our account is disabled or not. Run this simple command and this time the account active line should say no. And just like that, the administrator account is safely disabled. So in today's video, you learn how to enable and disable the administrator account in Windows computer. Also, we check the account status to see if it was active or not. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks like this. And if you have any questions or need help, drop a comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.